Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and welcome to this week's Coldy Video Update. I want to share with you some things that are going on in worship this Sunday, and then some things that are going on in the life of the church that you really need to be aware of. Well, we had a great week last Sunday celebrating our homecoming. We celebrated here during worship, and then we had a delicious lunch in the fellowship hall. This week, we're going to be returning to our regular schedule for Sunday morning, we begin the day with our reach service at 8.20 in the fellowship hall. That service is more informal and a little more contemporary. Then at 11 o'clock, we'll be gathering here in the sanctuary for our traditional worship. So you have two options of how you can worship God that day. And don't forget that in between, we have Sunday school classes for all age groups. So I hope that you'll come out and join us for that. And during worship this week, we're going to be exploring 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 19. In this passage, Paul is encouraging Timothy in his ministry. He is encouraging him to look at his life and how does his life as a man of God compare to the life of those in the world around him. You see, the world will define success and wealth in a particular way. But scripture will define it differently. In preparation for this Sunday, I encourage you to go ahead and read 1 Timothy 6, 6 through 19, uh, and then be prepared to come uh, to worship God, and let's explore that passage together. Well, now that homecoming is behind us, we're going to devote our full attention to Harvest Festival, which is coming up in October on Saturday the 15th, and we need everyone's help. I do encourage you to take a look at the sign-up sheet in the sunroom. We need people to volunteer to help uh, prepare food. We also need people to help bring food. So be praying how you can be involved. If you would like to help purchase the chickens or the slaw or the rolls, talk to Wade Garner or call the church office and we'll help you out with that. Don't forget that we're also collecting items for our auction. We need some quality items. So if you have some or you know somebody that does, please contact the office if you need help getting them here, if you need us to pick them up, or uh, contact the office to see about when would be a good time to drop them off. And don't forget that the quilters are selling their raffle tickets for the beautiful quilt that they have prepared again for this year, and that the Presbyterian men have their raffle tickets for the gift cards as well. Well, look, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you in church this Sunday.